time at channel welcome right today is a kind of quick video a little bit unusual i'm not i'm not actually teaching making anything just reviewing some new tools i bought bought a few little bits and these are a little bit new unusual so i wanted to put these on a, on a video these are handmade needle files never saw these in england it appears to be a japan only thing uh, they are very crafty and metalworky out here, so I'm not surprised people are making needle files by hand. Uh, I've got two. I just bought a new one. This one I've had a little while, and it's been really good, so that's why I confidently bought this. More expensive than what you normally get from Velorb and that, but kind of a bit of novelty to them, and uh, yeah, I, I appreciate the... Uh, they're not as finished as nicely as like the proper machine made ones, but I kind of like that. They got a bit of soul, a bit of character and uh, they work fine. So I happily paid more for them. So anyway, so this is what this, that's what this video is about. And get into it after so thank you to a new patron, Asaf. Thank you very much, Asaf. Asking for patrons, supports the channel, enables me to continue making videos. If you're new to me, I've uh, basically got 25 years experience hand making jewelry. So I specialize in sort of the, I specialised in the high-end bespoke handmade stuff. Now I'm out here living in Japan, I've sort of converted to just sharing my knowledge that I've acquired over the years. So yeah, if you want to click like and subscribe first of all, or take it a step further, become a Dime Outer patron. It's patreon.com forward slash Dime If you join, you'll get a shout out on the next upload after you join. You'll get access to the new YouTube videos two weeks before they go public on YouTube. And then also, the main reason people join is you get access to all the full instructional guides. So I make these like hour, two hour plus long videos, start to finish, like fully making pieces of jewelry. So from 10 pound a month, it's a cheap way to get your hands on some jewelry making content. So anyways, get into it. Okay, so I uh, just got these out to do a comparison. These are previous ones I bought, machine made ones. Having a close look at them. Uh, Right, people who've watched my videos in the past, yeah, if you're new to my channel, basically, you'll get to know me, yeah, I'm always complaining about the tools us jewellers have to use. They're quite often overpriced and crap. And uh, I just spotted something about these ones. I've I picked these out because this one is Velorb, this one is FDIC, two well-known brands for files. So I'll show you these machine-made ones of uh, two different brands. So there's the end, look. A little bit of uh, milling. Then the brand's usually stamped down the bottom. Gladen. Little fishy Velorb. Swiss made. Okay. This one was the F Dick. Have a look at the end. A little bit different on the end. Millin's a little bit different. F Dick brand. Arrow. Cut to. Refers to the coarseness of the teeth Swiss made we look at them side by side the teeth are different but the way they're all chamfered off and stuff I reckon these file tool manufacturers I reckon they just buy that blank they're all the same from the same place and then they just do a bit of cutting themselves so very very similar files I mean look at look how similar they are Considering these are two different brands, they're so similar. It's like this, they've got. It's like they both own the same machine. <laughs> they've just got different different settings or something. I don't know. It's the same, literally the same tool out of the same type of metal, just cut ever so slightly differently. Basically, quality. I, I would say the quality is exactly the same. There might be a slight variation on uh, the milling. The ends cut different. I don't know, they're so similar. Uh, I can't really tell you there's a, one brand better than the other. But anyway, <laughs> that's the machine ones. And compare that to the the handmade ones. You'll see what I mean about rough and ready. I mean, different bits of metal, totally different. That one's much thinner. Really quite thin from the side, look. Not just like round on the end. All sort of burnt looking. Still, still like heated up. All scratchy and rough. Looking at this one, like a barrette safety back. Some people used to call these donkey backs. I haven't heard that for years. See, it's all a little bit out of alignment. Doesn't go to a point nicely. Let's have a look at the teeth. Down the sides. don't really know where I'm going with this video anymore. <laughs> Machine made ones are all the same. 
handmade ones are a bit different. <laughs> Most of that is the handle, and there's just a little bit of teethy action going on the, on the end. They are... <laughs> they're just nicer to use. Perhaps that with the extra strength, you can put more power into it, but a needle file is, is never a power tool, it's never about that. I've got this one, which didn't say it was handmade, but it does feels like it's the same material. Again, it's got a long handle. It's just cut off. It's almost like it's just broken off on the end. And uh, it's just mostly handle, really fine teeth on the end. There's something nice about the, the lightness and the balance of them. Pick this out. This is made from a previous video a long time ago. So um, yeah, look, all that's handle, which might seem unusual to you, but look how it sits in my hand. It's ideal. Like, it just... That's how I would hold it. There's no point in having teeth up there because that's in my hand. So it seems sensible, the design, even though at first glance it's a bit odd. All of the concentration, all my focus, all the attention to the angles and stuff is all here anyway. So it's actually a sensible design. And like I say, it's a delicate little thing, but its coarseness is really helpful. It can really shift metal really quickly and easily. If I pick up one of these normal ones, it's uh, the handles here. If I want to, if I want to expose the whole blade, I've got to sort of crunch my hand up more than is comfortable. Um, so more often than not, your finger is on the blade. It can be uncomfortable. They're not a problem to use, but they they can be uncomfortable. Some people put handles on them. You can get like needle file handles. I've never really felt the need for that, but but yeah, doing a lot of work on these. Um, one complaint I've said in the past about you've got square and you've got tri-square, like three-sided one. I have made a complaint about these. The, the ideal file doesn't exist. You want a mixture of two. I want the right angle of a square, but I want a, a flat down one side so you can push hard onto it and it's comfortable. That, when you're filing, quite often filing little V shapes into metal. So I'm pushing hard, one finger, right on the corner, that's uncomfortable. No reason at all why I can't just put, get that on a grinder and grind a flat on it. That will help out a little bit. Um, why should I? I should, if these are made like by jewelry manufacturers, they should know about making jewelry. They should know we are often filing little Vs into things and uh, creating tools accordingly to the work that needs to be done. I think people who make jewelry tools don't know about making jewelry. They just do a triangle, they do a square, they do a circle shape, they do a flat shape, and they think that'll do. There's uh, more advanced versions of those that should be available. Uh, but yeah, having a long handle might seem odd, actually sensible, comfortable in the hand. It's, I can use it nicely, and uh, they're thinner and more delicate, so these files, uh, I like using them. So that's why I had a good experience with this one. I happily paid almost three times as much than the, the equivalent machine-made one for this one. So yeah, if, if you get a chance to buy a Japanese handmade needle file, I do recommend it. But it's gonna cost you more than normal. All right, so uh, that's it. If you're new to the channel, some of my videos are a bit weird like that. Uh, so it goes sometimes, you get used to it. Uh, but yeah, cool, that's it. So my little file review, machine-made versus handmade. I do like handmade rough and ready kind of things like my Zippo case is handmade. It's a little bit, well, there's nothing wrong with it. I actually think that's better than machine made to be honest. <laughs> I was about to diss my own work there, but it's actually been really good. Works perfectly. The hinge is really strong, doesn't wobble and uh, sounds nicer, feels nicer. Handmade is quite often better than machine made, but uh, like an example of these files is they look a bit rough. You can just look at them. They're a bit burnt, the surfaces are a bit rough and ready, and uh, perhaps they don't look as perfect as a machine-made one, but they're nicer to use and they work perfectly well. So no problems there. So yeah, handmade is often better than machine-made, even though at first glance it might not be. Anyway, so yeah, waffling on. Um, yeah, if you want to support the channel, greatly appreciate that. You can click like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to take a step further, you can become a Diamond Mount uh, member. Look for a join button on the YouTube page, just on there somewhere. And uh, if you want to take a step even further than that, become a Diamond Mount patron. It's uh, patreon.com forward slash Diamond Mount. Uh, uh, if not, just watch and enjoy. Welcome back. And uh, yeah, 
hopefully see you again on the next upload. I'm not very good at saying goodbye as well, something else you're going to learn about this channel. All right, see you later, bye.